Dub Nation, the time is now. Defend our ground. Lights out. Dang. That's what I'm talking about. Give up. They're playing basketball. Uh, all around the we world. To the beach, y'all. Let's go. All around the world. Yeah, I know. This is so, so dead. It's going to be a beautiful day of yes, basketball here today, folks. We're not talking about just regular basketball. Wow, We're talking about. What is up, guys? It's Anwar. Um, this is the uh, Kendrick Lamar group. And we're going to be talking about the Warriors. Uh, let's start off with uh, the uh, the company. Well, it's a private company, so there's no really uh, stock price. And uh, moving to technology and social media. Um, so according to Forbes, they implemented a new digital strategy strategy that has pushed uh, digital revenue to the highest in the NBA. by three Up by 300% in the last season compared to the 2016 season. And uh, although the Warriors are the NBA's leading team, they were not always a leader in social and digital strategy. So what did they do? Well, the Warriors enlisted digital strategy agency Rebel Ventures to look at how the marketplace was buying and valuing certain content. And the main goal was to change the business, the team's business and content model. So one of the biggest changes for the Warriors was switching it to an impression based model starting with the 2015-2016 season. And according to Mike Kitts, Vice President of Corporate Partnerships for the Warriors, he said it put skin in the game for us and our partners to really create engaging content. So these results had a positive feedback and were really dramatic. The Warriors generated more than 600 million engagements across all of its channels last year. Um, and the Warriors have combined uh, 29 million followers, 29 million followers, guys, on their social media channels. And uh, there are now more than a dozen employees focused exclusively on the Warriors' digital strategy. And overall, the team's sponsorship revenue has increased 25% annually and in recent years. Uh, however, digital sponsorship revenue is up 300% from last season. So let's see what's going to happen in this season and possibly a go up, you know, 600%. The Golden State Warriors are only one of three charter members of the National Basketball Association still in existence. In 1946, the Warriors hold the distinction of winning the league's first ever championship, claiming the title in the inaugural 1946-1947 season, while still based in Philadelphia. 1962, the same year Wilt Chamberlain scored 100 points in a single game, the franchise relocated to San Francisco and became known as the San Francisco Warriors. In 1971, the team moved to Oracle Arena in Oakland and were named Golden State Warriors to reflect the Bay Area team. Later, the Warriors went on to win the championships in 1975, 2015, 2017, and 2018. In 2016, the Warriors hold the best record of wins in the NBA history with 73-9 win-loss record. The Golden State Warriors' net worth of the company is the third highest in the NBA team valuations with $3,100 million. The breakdown of the valuation are as follows. For the sport, it's $570 million. The market is 1,210 million. The stadium is worth 784 million and the brand is 536 million. The company provides its employees with some perks, such as game day tickets, half days for the summer on Fridays, on site car wash, laundry locker, arena parking pass, and playoff giveaways, to name a few. Also, they have financial wellness offers which include employer 401k match, on-site financial courses, and one-on-one -on -one financial planning meetings. Furthermore, they have health and wellness benefits, including medical, dental, and vision plans, ranging to short-term and long-term disability insurance. As far as the Warriors go, they're definitely all-stars when it comes to social responsibility. They promote educational success through a long list of programs that were established to provide children and young adults with the necessary tools and resources to succeed.
the Warriors are able to address key issues in the community by focusing on literacy, STEM education coalition, as well as colleges and careers, read to achieve, and beyond the baseline, which is a partnership with Nike. Other than promoting and making education accessible, the Warriors also help their community in other ways, including promoting and being eco-friendly. They also launched a campaign that focuses on stopping hate and bullying and building inclusive communities. Sounds pretty cool if you ask me. And these are just a couple things to name a few. The management and decision style making of the company is one that is not led by one person, but rather is a democratic type leadership where those who have an opinion on something have a say in it. With that being said, owner Joe Lacob says that they are on a relentless pursuit of excellence. And he is even quoted saying, all I think about is getting better. That's what our job is. So thanks to their decisions, the Warriors have become a dynasty team. And if you ask me, the talk of the town as far as the NBA goes. For diversity, although the Golden State Warriors do help their diverse community, the organization does overlook people of color. It ranks amongst the lowest 5% against other companies in regards to their employees for their diversity score. So as far as diversity goes, the Warriors seem like rookies instead of all-stars to me. The Golden State Warriors are structured in a way where each individual has a main focus, but still they work as a team. They have Brockington as the main sponsor, Rick Welts as president, whose job is to oversee the business-related operations of the Warriors, Bob Myers as the general manager, whose job is to oversee the basketball operations on a day-to-day -day basis, Steve Kerr as head coach, Joe Lacob as the majority owner of the team, the team itself comes with players who are acquired by trades or the NBA draft. This structure seems to be very effective considering the Warriors are the best team in the league and they're in the top three most valuable teams in the NBA. This is a global company. The motto of the company's marketing department is to find the right content and channel to drive the sale. They also value on being unique, futuristic, web and mobile marketing. The Warriors enlisted digital strategy agency called the Revel Venture. Revel sport clients include Real Madrid, Boston Red Sox, Liverpool Football Club, San Francisco 49ers, and many more. As far as the charity goes, the Golden Gate State Warriors have their own foundation called the Warriors Community Foundation, which serves Alameda and San Francisco counties. The foundation has provided 6.2 million in grant to support the education equality in Alameda and San Francisco counties. They have also refurbished 70 basketball courts for creating safe and clean place for basketball in the low-income communities around the Bay Area. And also donated 15,000 tickets to share the joy and excitement of the Warriors home game with the local schools and non-profits.